What's up guys, in this tutorial I'm going to do a quick demo on how to do user authentication using uh, Firebase using Firebase and uh, also we're going to use the Expo SDK and React Native and we're also going to, like, going to do for our user interface we just going to use some component from this website which is called the React Native Training GitHub.io, they have some really cool stuff I'm just going to show you quickly how the application works Maybe you just got the Firebase and yeah you can just enter your username and password you can try to log in let's try to put a new one let's try to put one two three at one two three com password is one two three four five six and yeah you just go ahead and sign up and yeah I'm using a template the one that Expo provide and if you go ahead and Firebase, you can see one, two, three, and yeah. So then you can try to log in. Let's try that you want to try to log in with some different details. So that code the UK, try to log in, no authentication failed. You.com, try to sign up again, tell you failed. And you try to log in, and yeah, that's it. And this is just like a template that Expo pro, uh, provide for the user. So yeah, that's my app, and I'm just gonna walk, uh, like walk you through how, how to do it. You should have, uh, you should be able to download the Expo XDE from the Mac Store, and you should be able to download it, and you can just try to create a new project from there. What you can do, you can try to do a new project. And you can use the blank or the tab, uh, tab navigation. I use the tab navigation because it's more easy to control. We already have some uh, routes for like the main and the home and the links uh, and uh, some other stuff. So yeah, just go ahead and, do and download this app and just initialize the new project. So once you've that is your, uh, your template with the uh, Expo, you can go ahead and open the project. I'm using Visual Studio Code to open my project. You can go ahead and add uh, in one of the screen. You can add uh, login. Login screen.js, which will have two inputs and uh, two buttons: one for the login and one for the sign up. Uh, first, we import the React from from React. Then we need to import from the face uh, from React Native, so this view, this is just view, and uh, watch it, view, the button, uh, button, text, and yeah, from React Native, and we want to import Firebase, import everything as Firebase from Firebase, of course, we need to install. So you see it to the directory and you can do npm and install fibers, we install all the module for fibers. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and then we want to we want to import a import a main dot that is cable, which is from uh last year and internal navigator navigation for that. Internal navigation, internal navigator, yeah, and uh, yeah, that's when we want to import. 
たりけど。けど。パン。ほら。ナビゲーション。This will allow to navigate the logging page. Once you. Once everything is successful. So. Yep, we saw this. And yeah. And now we should be able to go so we can export it. Okay. Default. Plus. Login. Extend. Plus. Login. Extend. Yeah. So. Important. Yeah. We got it in the structure. Use your props. Props. And then we want to suit up. And props. Yeah. And then we want to create a state, which is data, which will be a couple of bibles. And we should make this. So the state, yeah? let's put our email, which would be empty. And uh, then we can put the uh, password, which would be empty for now. And, uh, and also with this. So we have the password as well, and we can also do error. So if there is any error in the application while you log in or sign up. And we also want to have the loading, which I can already give you false. Right? And uh, then what we can do is, what we can do is on login. Right, so now we create a method for the onlogging process. We say this dot stata and this dot stata and we pass it error, which is nothing because we don't have an error at the moment. Then we pass loading is equal to true. Right, so this and we pass it two variables. We want to have a const, we pass it email, and then uh, we pass a password, which will equal to this dot state. Then we do firebase dot authentication and we want to do sign this was signed in with email and password. We want to oh we want to pass in email and password. After this, we can do then. So we want to catch if everything is okay. We pass it to here. So we do chief function function that equal function and I want to do this dot state. Uh, but there's no error because. If you put it down, it will be successful. But then the loading will equal the pause. Right? So the loading will be equal to pause. And then we want to navigate to we want to navigate to the homepage. So we can do this dot props dot navigation dot navigator. And it will go to main. Because here we declare once my screen is called main and it will go to main tab navigator, which will have all the cool stuff for the home and the links in a second. So yeah, we do this. Uh, if not, we can do catch. Then same function. Uh, we can do this dot stata. It will equal to error. We will make it equal to authentication. Then and same stuff. Should I pass it? This. That's it now. And uh, so this for the login. We're going to do another one, which is for the sign up. Please. Okay. Now yeah, I can copy this. It's pretty much the same. Sign up price, the same as to have the cheap option. Uh, we want to, it's not signing now, it's create. I think it's create, uh, yeah, it's create user with email and password, yeah, that's right. So if it's fine, if everything's fine, you're still going to the main page. If not, you still do the same. Okay, cool. Now, we want to do, want to do another function, which can do render. Bottom or, or loading. So we decide here what to, uh, who to run the bottom or the loading. For loading, we just want to have a, like a loading text. So we can just say if this dot state dot loading. So this will say if loading is equal to me. We can do return text. The text will be loading. Uh, if nothing, if it's not loading, then we want to just return. return a, in this view, we're just going to have a two button. Yeah, sure. Okay, this button we can do. Okay, uh, on press, it's equal to this dot on login press dot find. We want to do this. And title. So we want to do another one, same for for setup. Setup. So find it will literally just find out the method on login press to this button, and that's it. 
now we just need to render we just need to render our view which will be a render and uh, we're going to do return on view can do we can do so to make things a little bit easier i would like to use a, a module called the react native training or react native elements you can search this on google and you'll find out this page i'll put the link down below the description so we're going to use uh, some inputs from here they're really cool. They have some really cool buttons and cool stuff here as well. So if you go and check it out. So we want to go to forms. So yeah, you can go ahead uh, and click on the forms. What we can do, we can do, just copy this. Go to your login screen. There's the here. Don't forget that you need to install those modules in your, in your project. So you can do npm install and the name of the module. And yeah, so, so you can do this, so I don't want this. Um, so what we can do, we can just do it here. So the label would be email, email, and uh, we want to do on-change text, and we want to apply, we want to apply, uh, I forgot. Uh, Oh yeah, we want to give it email. So you can do email, email function this dot stater, and then we just pass it the email. And uh, we don't need to write this message here. And we want to do the same for for password. Uh, password, and then you want to do the same for password. And then we can do we can do uh, we just want to render this. This. So yeah, that's it. And we're done. So now we can go to the app. So once you save, yeah, it should load. And some more modules, yes. I have my product here up and running, new authentication. Oh, it's not gonna work because I didn't initialize Firebase. So we can go ahead and initialize it. Or is it initialize Let's just load. Oh, uh, didn't I open the login? Oh, I've got a few. Up here, login. Login is nothing to go first in the stack. It will be login, and you just need to add the screen, which you can call login. Login screen. And yeah, then you can do import. Login, pharma. Okay. For the screen. Yeah, yeah that's it. Refresh and yeah, start now. So then we need to initialize. We need to initialize on stuff right? so we can do uh we can initialize. We can do oh, yeah, please. Oh, yeah. So what do you need to do here? You can't find so I don't know, I was saying can't find the variable login screen and this is both navigation. Login screen, we need to navigate actually and see the uh I need to wear so, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, load now. Go back to our screen to log in. We initialize the app. And uh, yeah, this should work. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I think the error is a uh, set state before I just put like state like this. But yeah, it is set state and that should work. So nice. Now I try to update. Well, 
set to the why not? So now we're okay. Yeah. Now be careful guys, this says the so yeah, I believe is this one. Test plus dot com one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. So yeah, so we've done and uh, just 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 another couple of things. I'd like to add the password. Uh, the secret there. Uh, so no one can see what you type in. We can add that. Uh, secure, that's entry. And uh, we want to add the uh, placeholder. Placeholder, we can do all this. And then, uh, same for the there. Yeah. Then we so once we do this, uh, should be able to navigate to menu. That's right. So that's not the app, we can try to log in. Ah. Right. Okay, guys, let's try for one more time. And uh, let's try first to write some wrong values. So let's try to go to dot uk and then one, two, three, four, five, six with the right password. Um, no, we didn't come with anything. So, dot com, try to log in. And yeah, voila. Again, now you can go back yeah, because just for testing purpose, but then you can do just two lines of code and you can reset the, nav the navigation. So, this page will be the landing page and you can't go back. But just wanted to make to go back so we can see if there is any errors. Uh, apparently, Oh, because we're not calling it. Let's try to do that, sir. And on the text is this dot state dot arrow. Yeah. So let's try again yeah, one more time. Just copy and paste, but let's try to put the core in the case. Let's try to put the wrong one. And fix the error. Let's try to log in. Authentication failed. Yep. Yeah. Let's try to put the correct one. So, yeah. Now I should be able to go back and to sign up. And yeah, you're here. Let's try to refresh here. And here you go, your test one and everything. And yeah, that's everything. That's really, really simple. So all we did is just like to create this login screen, initialize our Firebase, login method, sign up method, render the button on loading, and then after you can do some styling if you want it's up to you. But yeah, thank, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, just uh, sub, uh, subscribe and share. Thank you so much.